One of the most common congenital conditions that we encounter is commonly known as thumb duplication. Thumb duplication, which is the term again that's usually used, is a relatively common congenital condition affecting roughly one in 10,000 live births. When we look at hand function, perhaps 80% of what our hands do involve the use of the thumb. So in situations of thumb duplication, not only can we make a hand look aesthetically or cosmetically more pleasing, we can actually lend a lot of improvement in function, including grip, grasp, pinch, and fine motor activity. Though the term thumb duplication is commonly used, in actuality, in some senses, it's a bit of a misnomer, and a more appropriate term may be split thumb rather than duplicated thumb. The reason for that is that embryologically, when the thumb is developing, instead of forming a single thumb, the thumb will oftentimes develop an extra split in it. So the elements that were meant to form one thumb will actually split and form two thumbs. This concept is important to remember because in point of fact, both thumbs have elements that ultimately will need to be combined or reconstructed to form a more normal thumb. When it comes to any congenital condition, one of the common questions is, how do you make the diagnosis? And in situations of thumb duplication or preaxial polydactyly, the diagnosis is usually self-evident at birth and oftentimes will have insights into the diagnosis even before birth based on prenatal ultrasounds and other screening. The operations for thumb duplication are not as simple as just removing the accessory thumb. Instead, the surgery is designed to take away the extra bony elements, but to combine the muscles, the ligaments, the skin, and other soft tissues, again, to achieve our goal, which is really a good-looking, mobile, straight, functional thumb. A common question that families will ask is, um, what are the results that we can anticipate after surgery? And thankfully, the results of surgery for uh, thumb duplication, for the most part, have been uh, really excellent. Our ability to do a single operation and have a thumb that provides a lifetime of use is really improved. And these days, I would contend that it's quite rare that people require a second procedure. Thankfully, here at Children's Hospital Boston, within the Department of Orthopedics and in our hand and upper limb program, we have a number of providers, surgeons, nurses, physicians assistants, nurse practitioners, who have a lot of experience dealing with both thumb duplications as well as a host of congenital abnormalities. Um, we can provide, we think we can provide families with appropriate counseling, help guide them through the process of diagnoses, discuss treatment options with them, and ultimately see them through their surgical reconstructions, again with the ultimate goal of improving the hand function over the course of a lifetime.